When we talk about measuring distance, for example, there is more than one unit we could use. We could use feet or meters, for example. And the same thing is true for angles. There are multiple ways of measuring angles. So in this video, let's introduce another way of measuring angles called a radian. So I'll warn you now, when you first see this definition, it's probably not going to be very intuitive. But I will say this way of measuring angles works really well once you start doing calculus. There are major calculus formulas that simply don't work if you're measuring angles in degrees. So there is a reason for this. So radians, let's define the unit circle. This as a math formula is x squared plus y squared equals one, described geometrically, it's a circle around the origin whose radius is one. We can look at a nicer picture if I go to Desmos. The unit circle. And we're going to look at angles where the x axis is the initial side and the um, origin is the origin of the ray. So we're going to look at angles like so. And we'll, we make the observation that an angle can be used to define an arc on the unit circle. And let's say this angle is 45 degrees. This arc on the unit circle has some length. Let me think. This is an eighth of the full circumference. The circumference of a circle with radius one is um, two pi. So this distance is one eighth of two pi. So pi divided by four. All right. We'll now define an alternative to the degree called the radian. And the way the radian works, is we've got this unit circle, we've got our initial side, we've got our angle, and that angle creates this arc. And we're going to define this angle in radians to be the length of this arc segment. So, if this arc segment is pi over four units long, this angle 
is pi over four radians. And as I say, I know when you first see this, probably your reaction is just sort of why. I mean, that was my reaction when I first saw it. I can only give my word that this way of measuring angles, again, does make calculus significantly cleaner. There are reasons we would want to measure angles in this way. And um, for reference, a 90 degree angle is pi over two radians. There is no radian symbol. No, uh, no equivalent to this little dot. A one hundred eighty degree angle is pi radians. A 270 degree angle is three pi over two radians. And a 360 degree angle is two pi radians. There are two pi radians in a circle.